Hey guys, um, back with another video. Um, I got my heads back from the welder, my 36 horsepower Okrasa heads. Um, these are dual port and they're made for the 36 horsepower engines. Uh, they come as part of the kit that Wolfsburg West sells. And um, I had an unfortunate occurrence when I first started building this engine. Uh, when I attempted to shim these 36 horsepower style heads, um, the rocker, rocker bosses that you see in the picture here, uh, that's a big no-no. I found out the hard way. I cracked them. But um, fortunately for me, there are guys like Fat Performance, uh, a.k.a. Rimco, out in Santa Fe Springs, California, um, that do welding. And as you can see here, they have done an amazing job welding the cracked rocker boss stands uh, that I goofed up. And um, I see no issues at all with these and I'm looking forward to getting this hot rod 36 horsepower uh, engine on the road. Um, and I've added push rod tubes and torqued these heads down. But uh, this is the 3-4 side, the uh, left side of the engine. And looking down, there's your dual port heads with the unique Okrasa style uh, manifold uh, surface there. So um, what I'm doing now that I've gotten these heads back, uh, I'm actually setting the rocker geometry. And I got a little bit of a space crunch in my garage here for which I apologize. Sorry for the wobbly camera action. Um, but again, I'm setting up my rocker geometry, and I'm over on the 1-2 side uh, of the engine, the right side. And <clears throat> I've gotten pretty good results. Um, what I've got here uh, on this 1-2 side is I've got a little shortened push rod. It's really short. It, this is not... Um, well, let me just break it down. I've got these so-called two-piece lifters inside this engine. Uh, you know, the 36 horsepower, I don't know if, if some of you are familiar. They had a one-piece push rod and lifter. Um, cam follower, if you will. It, it came as one piece, and um, AA sells these so-called two-piece lifters, which I've utilized here. Uh, and as such, the push rod and the lifter slash cam follow are separate units. And so, if you're going to run these, then you need to, of course, um, set up your rocker geometry. Again, bearing in mind that I've got the, um, in addition to the Wolfsburg West Okrasa kit, I've got a uh, Wolfsburg West Performance 36 horsepower cam inside this engine. So, long story short... Um, I needed a custom push rod measuring tool and I got one from Trick Flow. Let me know if you want the part number. I think it was for something like 8.5 inches uh, minimum length to 9.5, something like that. But again, that's much shorter than a lot of the um, standard BW push rod measuring tools. It's, Trick flow, I think it's more targeted towards V8s, but I mean, it did serve the purpose here. Anyway, um, I have, you can see down in there, there's the end of the trick flow pushrod measuring tool sticking out. I've got it inserted into the number one uh, cylinder intake, and um, I've set my valve lash at, at four thousandths, which is what the 36 horsepower engine specs call for. Um, and I have uh, uh, endeavored to measure my rocker geometry. And, and a lot of times um, you'll see people talking about half lift. You know, when the cam is lifting the valve off of its seat halfway between the completely closed position of the valve and the completely open position, you want your half lift measurement of the... Um, the valve screw to the tip of the valve, the valve stem, to be exactly in line 
um, and I'm trying to show it here I'm not sure if it's going to do so well with the lighting in my garage right now and uh, the camera but I've got I've got the uh, the rocker adjusting screw and the valve stem I've got the valve depressed halfway actually um, and the valve screw and the valve head are pretty much in line with each other so I'm gonna um, probably run with that and that's at a certain length of this pushrod measuring tool I think it's set something like 8.8 .8 inches and again this is with the third the two-piece lifters so bear that in mind when you're setting up your own rocker geometry if you're still using the one-piece um, lifter pushrod then you're going to need a different pushrod measuring tool and all your specs are going to be off but you'll still want to get the valve screw and the head of the valve in line at exactly half lift um, and so I um, just real quick I used uh, a lot of people will use dial indicators and that's fine and good but uh, I got a tip from hot VWs um, that if you want to just get a rough idea of uh, you know the completely open and the completely closed the the distance between those is to use a set of dial calipers and I've got an electronic set here it's a seven inch dial caliper you run the tip of the little measuring tool down you put it on top of the retainer and then the little extension that comes out if I can get it in the camera here there we go um, you just set that down to the in my case I'm using using the um, the valve seating area and you take your measurements that way so um, I did that I used I, I had the valve completely open with the number one cylinder or piston at top dead center and I took the reading there and then I compressed it uh, I rotated the engine until the number one intake was completely open and I took that measurement I subtracted them the max from the min or sorry the min from the max and I divided that by two to get my half lift that's the technique that Hot VWs is calling out and I, I like that it's a lot less hassle than trying to set up a dial indicator um, it's not as precise but again as long as you end up with a half lift um, at half lift you get your valve screw in line with your valve stem you're pretty much good to go you're good, your guides are going to live a long and healthy life hopefully and um, you'll get a good service out of your engine so anyway I wanted to update everybody and um, give them the scoop now that I've gotten these heads back I'm super excited to finally hopefully get this Okrasa engine back into called back into service I guesstimate that I will go from the 36 horsepower output um, up to I think around 12 more horses just from adding the Okrasa dual port kit uh, and the cam that I've added and um, like I say this engine has the WW Okrasa kit fitted uh, it's gonna run a stock exhaust unless or until I can find something better um, but it's got the Wolfsburg West performance cam that complements the Okrasa kit uh, it's got AA uh, H-beam rods in it I think they're really nice um, it's got Wolfsburg West 77 millimeter pistons and the stock 64 millimeter crank I haven't stroked it or, or had the cases opened up uh, but anyway and let's see stock flywheel stock oil cooler um, and yeah I'll just I'll be working on putting it back together and of course it'll be running the um, the 34 PBIC carbs that came with the Wolfsburg West kit so I'll keep you guys updated look for another video soon on the progress of this 36 horsepower quote unquote hot rod engine and um, I will talk to you guys soon have a great day take care uh, like share subscribe if you haven't already to my channel um, God bless take care bye bye